Hello guys, welcome back to the Django REST framework lecture series. In previous video, we have learned to write the APIs for CRUD operations. In this tutorial, we will be simplifying the APIs which we have written earlier. But we will be writing the APIs for the student model. As we have already written the APIs for standard model. Here the model means the database table. In Django, we are going to address the tables as the models. So let's go to the views file and write our code. We have few classes in Django REST framework which make our work easier. Create API view, retrieve API view, update API view and destroy API view. As the name suggests, they do the following operations. Let's import them from REST framework. There is also an extra API view which is list API view. List API view gives all the objects in the model. Retrieve API view only gives the object of the ID which we have given in the URL. So let's create our student API. Here I can import the create API view. When we are importing the create API view, we have to declare some attributes for this class. One is serializer class. For this, we have to create a serializer. So let's go to the serializer file and we will create a student serializer. Let's go back to the views and from here we can import the student serializer as well. And now we have to give the student serializer here. And we need to give the query set also here, which is student.objects dot all and here you go now we have created one api this is cool right these three lines of code does all the work same as the post method code in the standard api view so here with these two lines of code we can directly create an object using the api before that we have to define the urls as well so go to the urls.py and here i will give path create student that's it let's go to the postman and check if we can create the new rows in the student table i'm creating a new folder and name it as students table let's create a request over here and it is for creating students the request type would be post and the url would be I'll just copy paste this one and I have to change the endpoint which is student slash create student right when I hit the request it is saying that we have to give name age and standard these three are required fields so go to body if you can notice we haven't written the serializer is valid method over here but still the student API itself raises an error that we need name age and standard to create an object this is cool right just go back to the postman and we will give name name would be omka age would be let's give some string in the age and see if the serializer will raise the error or not standard would be uh, any id like if we see id of the standard table here we have only one standard with id2 so we are going to use standard 2 and when i click here wow serializer again raised the error that age should be a valid integer so i am giving age is 22 here you go with just three lines of code we have created our api so let's write another api for getting the object and here i will extend retrieve api view and i give the same and in the urls.py i have to give a new int int colon pk and i have to change this to get student api here you go go back to postman just duplicate this one rename get student so when i write slash and the http method would be get and when i send it sorry i have to give the slash at the end as well here you go the data of the student one has been returned over here 
and we can create the other as well so let's go here we can use the list api view the same code has to be written over here we can just copy this and i can give this one so the same url will be hit but with the get method so when i write i can just to duplicate this and i will rename this as get students list i don't need to give the id in the url i can directly send the request it's saying that get isn't allowed okay we can just write get students there's a mismatch in the url i have to change the url to get students and it is a get request and when i send the request here you go let's just create another student which is age 23 and the standard is to again and when we go to students list and send the request here you go you can see two objects have been returned over here so list api view gets all the objects from the model the retrieve api view gives only the student details of the id which we have mentioned in the url if i write two over here and send the request it gives the details of the shubo we have done with create retrieve we are left with update and delete so let's create another api extend the update api view and write the same over here i'll just write in the student urls update student and update students api go back to postman just duplicate it update students the request type would be put and here update update student sorry update student and we have to give the id of the student so in here we will update uh, the age of the omkar so omkar's id is one so i am going to write one and i will update the age with 24 and just send it if you can see it has raised an error it's because there is a difference between put and patch request in put request we have to give all the field names to update in the database if you only want to update age over here we have to use the patch which partially updates the row the put always updates the complete columns in the row so for that i have to give all the three values and just give the age that has to be changed yeah here you go now omkar's age has been changed if i go to get students list and see the omkar's age has been changed if you only want to change the age of the omkar and not any other value we can just make the request as patch and don't send the name and standard values i will change the age to 25 and you can send the request here you go with patch you can update the fields of an object partially so if i check the students list here you go the omkar's age has been updated to 25 and now we are left with delete destroy api view and the same has to be copy pasted and go to urls and create a url for deleting a student delete student and in pk and here you go delete students api and go to postman again just duplicate this one just edit delete students and the request type would be delete here i have to write delete student and when i delete it here the response status is 204 so this api doesn't return any data but it returns 204 if the object has been deleted successfully so when i go to get students list and recheck the student omkar has been deleted because its id is one and we have deleted the student so this is how we are gonna write apis with just three lines of code and we can more simplify the existing code as well so i can just delete all these here if i can say students api and i can extend all the classes in one class itself create api view update api view 
retrieve API view, destroy API view, and list API view. And in the URLs, I can simply give students students API and the API is students API. In only these three lines of code, you can perform all the CRUD operations which we have done earlier with five different APIs. If I go to Postman and check for creating, we will just create a new student. First, we have to update the URL, which is students API. I will create a new student with the name Rahul and age is 26 and standard is two. Here you go, the API is working completely fine. And let's try, uh, we have to change the URL, sorry. Just a minute. It's students API. We cannot directly use retrieve API with all these combinations. For retrieve API view, you have to write a separate API. For now, let's go to Postman and check get list APIs. And here you go. You can see the list of all students in the students model. And also I can update first we have to write students API and the ID is to I want to update the age of Shubham to 28. I'll send a request here. It is showing page not found. Uh, just go to the URLs. We have to give another URL over here, uh, which is in PK. Yeah, now our APIs would work. As I already said, put updates all the fields of an object. So let's go to the patch and update the values. Here you go. And when we go to get students list, and if you see that Shubham's age has been updated to 28. If I want to delete the student Shubham, okay, sorry, I have to update the API, right? Students API. And here you go. It is showing 204, no content. That means the student has been deleted. If I try to get the list of the students, the data of the Shubham has been deleted. So what happens if I write an ID which does not exist in the database? It simply shows detail not found and the response status would be 404. In this way, Django REST framework handles every type of errors which we commonly do while writing an API. Those are directly handled by the serializers which we have returned and the API view. This is so cool, right? With just three lines of code, we have written the APIs which perform CRUD operations in the database. I hope you understood how to create APIs till now. I could have shown the easiest method in the beginning itself, but if I had showed directly the easiest method, you will never understand the difference between the both. For now, there is no need of understanding how exactly these classes work internally. Create API view, update API view, destroy and list API view. You will understand them deep when you work more on Django for creating projects. In the next video, I will be explaining how to create the APIs for login, logout, logout from all devices. So please stay tuned. It's very easy to learn Django and start creating websites. The knowledge till now you had from my lecture series is enough for creating basic APIs. Please follow my videos further as well to learn Django from scratch and start building your web applications. If you have any doubts regarding any topic, please feel free to comment. I will be sharing the Instagram ID in the description. Please follow me on Insta to get the best tips on Python, Django and web development. If this video is helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.